Dear Bruce Kern, I am glad that many of you, I think, take the preparation for the consecration to Mary seriously. And you have a sheet now, I think, for week two. Remember, it's a five week preparation for our total consecration to Mary, according to the method of St. Louis de Montfort. So we have a week two. The purpose of week two is to know oneself. The first week, last week, was the spirit of the world as opposed to the spirit of Jesus Christ, two different standards. The bad news on one side and the spirit of the world on the other side. So this week we try to look at, at oneself to see what we really are. What we really are. So as to develop a feeling of compulsion, of humility, the, the truth is that we are creatures and we are sinners. That sin is only the only thing we have on our own. And we have to develop this spirit of humility, the feeling of our misery, in order to go to Mary, in order to go to Jesus, our Savior. So that's the goal of this week, according to the method of Saint Peter Montfort. Saint Peter Montfort has very strong words that may scandalize some who are not used to spiritual language. I am a war. Oh, because I'm not a war. But it's a mystical language, and you have to understand these words, not literally, but mystically. We are nothing. Saint Jesus talked to Saint Catherine of Siena, I am who you are. You are who is not. And he told her, if you saw yourself as I see, you would die of fright. So we have to develop during this week our uh, uh, the, an attitude of dependence towards our Creator. Dependence. We depend, we are helpless without life. For natural life and even more for supernatural life. The spirit of the world says, I am independent. I am free from God. Oh. We, could not, we could not move even our little finger without the first stars and star. So we are creatures. And God made us. We didn't make ourselves. God made us. And for what purpose? That we may know Him and love Him and serve Him. So we are created as servants. As servants. We are created to serve God. But it's not so much for God than for us. Because by serving God, we reach our end and our happiness. There is no end, no happiness other than God. God does not need servants. He does not need us. He's happy. But we need Him to be what we really are. His creatures. So we are made servants. Maybe this is good for us. And being servant is to reign. To reign is Christ. Being independent of God is being a slave. A slave of our passions. A slave of Devil. So we are creatures and servants. What does God, what does God done to us? Everything. What more could have he done for us? Creation and the, the family, the society, the world, the beautiful world. Not to speak about the mystical redemption. Passion for us. What has God done for us? And second question, what have we done for Him?
Turn to a Savior, to turn to a nice Savior. 